in, in reality and honestly about this, humans are social animals. We need interaction with other people, otherwise we go nuts, you know? And our work is eight hours a day of social interaction. You can't just reduce this to zero hours of the day. You can't reduce this to getting two emails and five Slack messages, you know? It's eight hours of day of social interaction you usually have. The other eight hours um, are social interaction you have with friends and family. Those are also now to zero. You know, the other eight hours are you sleep. So what the hell? People will feel lonely. People, people will get anxiety and feel isolated. That's an absolute problem you will have. And this is one of the problems that we mentioned before that you want to get ahead of. Okay. Don't worry about this in the first two weeks or one week. You know, for worry about this, like as soon as you are stable as a company, but like worry about this. So what I would personally recommend here is crowdsource ideas from your team because they know what's what, they know how, they have good ideas, they know each other, you know, get a general understanding across that even if you don't like having a video on, it's not about you, it's not about you feeling weird about this, it's about the rest of the team being able to see somebody. That's important. Absolutely. Get this across, you know, and then additionally come up with ideas that you can do in a team to get a little bit of this social fabric that makes your office an amazing place, also work online. Things I recommend personally, and I think a lot of you already do this, is no agenda meetings. You know, like we just have a call at 5 p.m. If you want, get a beer, you know, and we talk about whatever. It doesn't matter, you know, cool thing. Yeah. Um, and those are, of course, are not mandatory. <laughs> like people can do or not do that, you know. Um, <laughs> the things that we do additionally at AngelList, for example, somebody's cooking, they turn on the video call and be like, join me, like I'm cooking, you know, like whatever. Oh, okay. you know? That's interesting. Uh, we had teams that did um, games through Zoom and uh, online tools like um, Tabletop Simulator, where they just were playing online games or like online Tetris. You know, they were just playing it against each other, streaming it, and other people watched in. You know, and this is not something where I have to join. You know, but it's some people like, hey, we're doing this. Join if you want. Great. You know? uh, some people will. It's 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 fun. Um, other things that I saw really successful, at least at Angelist and other companies, is have channels where you post pictures. Like here, like the pets, the food, the kids, whatever, doesn't matter. This is kind of giving people a little bit of a, I don't know, just moment to shine and also like a moment to just like see what's going on with other people. Um, and again, just to go to the, back to the very first one, crowdsource those ideas from your people. Most likely you have people who already have experience with remote work. They might have amazing ideas, you know? Uh, maybe your HR team or your office manager or your operations team or your people team have like really good ideas what could be done, you know? And experiment with them. Some of them are crap, some of them are good. And encourage your team to do the same stuff also with their family and friends. Like, do like a, uh, your kids should have like a hangout where they do their homework. You should have a cooking session with your parents, you know, uh, stuff. Uh, I, and this is no joke. I, yes, joined a, uh, a, a wedding celebration uh, for Zoom. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and it was not the most awkward wedding, wedding celebration I've ever been into. So that's a win, I guess. Um, <laughs> so suggest this kind of stuff, you know, and people will have their own ideas and try to do that. But the main takeaway I want to have you as a lead is have those activities pop up, have the team crowdsource this. But your job as a lead is to have one on ones with everybody under your leadership and have a tap on what does this crisis and this scenario mean for them on a human side? Like, how does this affect them? Do they have family members who are in danger? You know, like they work as nurses or they're old. Just understand this really, really well. Because that's the only way you can like be ahead of the, the problems you will face through that. That's my main advice.